Hello, the Meteor Dragoon here again. And I would like to tell you three games I would love to see an, a sequel to. And one of them is Chrono Trigger. Why am I bringing up Chrono Trigger? I know, I know. It had a sequel in on the PlayStation days called Chrono Cross. But, to me, Chrono Cross didn't feel like it was a sequel, per se. It's a good game, but to me, it just didn't feel like it was a true sequel to Chrono Trigger. It, went, it tried to be too far apart from it. But I would love to see a new Chrono game. In fact, that was actually one of the few games I actually want to see get a sequel. Another one I would love to see a sequel to is the Breath of Fire series. The last sequel was on the PlayStation 2, but to me that wasn't a sequel per se. It would... Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter is a good game if it wasn't called Breath of Fire. Is it a dungeon crawler in a sense? And to me, Breath of Fire has uh, the a main character that transforms into a dragon, and from what I've seen of it, Ryu doesn't transform. Why don't they just give him a white martial arts ski and have him throw Hadoukens? Because that's pretty much what he reminds me of uh, wanting to um, them wanting to do with him. So. And that was my first signify of what Capcom is doing. They're learning good franchises and throwing them out. And I want to see another Mega Man game, but that's going to be... Which, we all know what happened to Legends 3 and... And that was a game I would have loved to see. And also, let's not forget the Mega Man Online game. Man, that would have been fun. I already know that that online Mega Man game would have been fun as hell. If they didn't cancel it. But, that was actually a shame. And another game I want to see a sequel to, God Hand. It, it was at the last, it was released at the end of the PlayStation 2's lifespan. And it was a hell of a fun game. And now they've already released Okami Den, a sequel to Okami. Several games from for the beautiful get, uh, Joe games. What do, oh, do those two games have in common with God Hand? Other than they were made by Capcom, they were made. All three of them were made original. With the original variations of all three games were all made by the same studios. Clover. That would actually make it actually somewhat more fun. And if they actually brought Platinum Studios into the game and had them make God Hand. Because we all know that those guys all had a hand in it. And they hire Shinji Mikami just to do that sequel as well. Why? Because that way they know, and not only they, but we all know that it will be good. And another game I'd love to see a sequel to is the Maximum Impact games from King of, of the King of Fighters. Why? And to the fact that King of Fighters Maximum Impact 2 just ended ended with a fucking cliffhanger. They could have they could ended in the third King of Fighters Maximum Impact 3 and finish off that story line. And, and that way I'm not that pissed off at Adam about that. And also it has had some of the more interesting characters that will never make it into a King of Fighters game, such as Duke, 
Lam, the Muela Brothers, Alban Tuare. Just a shame that they, uh, characters like that will not be in a game. Even other than the uh, two for the PlayStation 2. Yeah, I know some of them. Uh, they're a lot different than some, uh, how people expected them to play as, but hell, it was fun at times. And that is my list for games I would like to actually see sequels to. Post below if you want your ideas of games that need to get some sequels. And who knows, I might talk about those games for you in another video. And this is the Media Dragoon saying, Game On!